This is a 44-year-old female with severe rheumatoid arthritis, really localized just to the left knee. She has significant arthritis affecting the medial compartment of the knee with a very large subchondral cyst in that region. What's interesting about her case is that her fusion has somewhat of a bulbous type of shape and contour to it as she has significant synovitis proximally. She also has a small plica as well in the proximal suprapatellar pouch. I was able to aspirate most of the fluid from the suprapatellar pouch. However, given her significant synovitis and debris within the synovial fluid, we were unable to get all of it. So a 44-year-old female history of rheumatoid arthritis, pain over the past three weeks, no injury. Recent MRI showed a lot of fluid synovitis, a lot of arthritis medially with large, very, very large subchondral cysts. So here's a coronal MRI. We can see significant amount of fluid within the suprapatellar pouch. And her knee in the sagittal view, she's got a lot of fluid in the pouch. Here's that very large effusion in the suprapatellar pouch, and towards its proximal end, you see a fair amount of synovitis. And that's kind of a, an abrupt ending to this uh, large effusion proximally. Again, here's a lot of that synovitis proximally, which is consistent with her rheumatoid arthritis. And also there's a little plica uh, separating, it seems, the synovitis from the effusion. And here's an axial view, we can see that very large effusion. Okay, again. Now our axial plane. See all that fluid, then it just stops. Here's our anticipated um, course of the needle, which shouldn't be too difficult to get in this case. And here again, this is where we plan on going, just right in the middle of it. And there's our needle tip right in the middle of the effusion. Um. And usually when you put the needle in a large effusion, you can get a little bright flash, which is air from the shaft that I call a bubble sign, which means you're in the space. Mm -hmm. Look at the screen. There's my needle right in the middle of it. You clip it? Yes. Sometimes with an inflammatory fusion, such as rheumatoid arthritis, it could be a touch cloudy. Here I am using a swivel technique. I'm seeing the proximal end of the needle. And now I'm trying to swivel to get the needle tip. You notice how close the probe is to the needle, which is why this was done with a sterile technique. some more anatomy, prefemoral fat pad. This is after we aspirated a fair amount of fluid. Again, you can see how much we were able to um, decrease the size of the effusion. Sometimes you can't get all the fluid out as there may be a fair amount of debris within the effusion making it hard to get it all out. Now you can see a little bright dots, this little air from the needle. see here that there's a fair amount of debris and synovitis mixed in with this fluid and that's also why it is bloody as it comes out as you do if you aspirate synovitis you're going to get that bloody effusion and unfortunately that could be painful for the patient. Here we are attaching some cortisone. You clip that right? Mm-hmm. You put saline in uh, one cc. Yes. Right. week after left knee aspiration with cortisone injection and feeling a lot better? Yes. Okay. You have a lot of pain when you walk still or? No.